Hi guys, Selena Walker here, naturopath and nutritionist living deep in nature here at Espritacoid Spirit of the Trees. And today I want to celebrate Yarrow with you as it's arrived. She is here, it's Yarrow season. I'm not sure how well the camera will focus on her, but I will do a close up shortly. So Yarrow, her Latin name is Achillea millifolium, not sure, again, not sure of the pronunciation. And here in Wales, in the Celtic countries, she's also known as Milvile or Llysiae Gwadlyth. Again, my pronunciations might not be perfect in English, in Latin or in Welsh, but you know who I'm talking about. She's known as Bloodwort and that kind of gives you a clue of what she is all about. I always think her as the plant of blood. She is the plant of blood. And that is power in itself, isn't it? You can use her if you're out and about and you fall over, um, so any wounds, I say use her from wounds to nosebleeds. You can simply, with the leaves, the leaves have that kind of fluffy, almost like a mini fern, like a fairy fern, but you can simply roll that up in your fingers and use it as a plug. You can just plug it up your nose to stop the nosebleed, mm, got that delicious smell of yarrow, to stop the nosebleed. But it can also bring on a nosebleed as well. Oh, we're just getting a little bit of a shower here. We haven't had rain for ages, good rain, so I'm actually celebratory of the rain. Hopefully it will hold off a bit while I just finish this video about beautiful yarrow with you. So she's renowned for blood. She encourages the movement of blood. So she helps with stagnation. So when you think of those two things, the first two things that come to my mind is your circulation system. So your circulatory system, all that circulation flowing through your body. And for us women, our gynecological area. So for our menstruation. So if you want to bring on blood, or if you want to slow down the blood or break up clots, in both those areas, she can be a great one to go for. She can also help with pain with menstruation. So she is known as one of the herbs for women as well because she helps with the moon time. She helps with the blood that women excrete on their moon time. So she is known for many things. As I said, the main thing is, is for blood. She breaks up blood. So what else comes to mind there? Well, she can help with bruises. If you get any blood blisters uh, from extreme things such as uh, thrombosis, she's been used for in the past, varicose veins, hemorrhoids, all things blood and where blood is pooling and blood is gathering in the body. And as I said, she can be used for wounds because the other thing that's great about her is she's also antibacterial and antimicrobial. So great to use in wounds because she'll stop the bleeding and also have the antibacterial and antimicrobial um, action. And that is where the name woundwort comes from because she used to be used a lot in the battlefields. Now, don't think as with herbal medicine, there's not always one thing that she is good for. Another great thing that I would use yarrow for is for if I had a fever, yarrow is really good at opening up the roots of elimination. So when we have a fever, our body's trying to burn off the toxins and get them out of our body. But if we open up other roots of elimination, it just eases off pressure on the fever so the toxins can come out other ways. And yarrow is great for that because what she'll do, she'll relax the skin and the membranes and allow the perspiration, that sweating, root of elimination that we have in our body to open up and we can sweat quite a lot if we take yarrow when we have an acute episode such as a fever. She can also be used for drying up fluids in the body so for instance if you have diarrhea or to help with things such as cystitis, the itises I think of, so cystitis, rheumatism, arthritis, um, all those kind of itises she can help with. So if you've got just general stomach cramping from one of the itises, again, I would go to Yarrow. But again, as I always say, it's not use this for this because that's looking at it a very kind of allopathic way uh, um, as we do when, when regular medicine and herbal medicine is so much more. It's looking at the whole picture and she can help with so much more. It's good to get to know her really well. Now you want to avoid yarrow in pregnancy and if you're breastfeeding and she's not really one I would use long term just because she's so powerful. 
So what I want to do now, I'm going to harvest some yarrow and I'm going to show you how you can make a simple tincture and how easy it is to do it this time of year. And she'll be with you for the rest of the season then in your tincture medicine cabinet. So I've just come to hide under these willow trees uh, as it has started to rain, which is great because the land needs it. But um, I didn't want my tincture to get too wet. But I can feel the rain coming through, but it will just add to the energy of the tincture making. So all I've got here is I've got some Welsh vodka made in Wales with Brecon Carrig water, so it brings in that more of that dragon energy. And I've got some of the yarrow. And all I'm simply going to do now is chop her into the jar. And as I'm chopping her, I would just put in to her the energy I want. I could ask as well what I want her energy for, to ask her to help heal others, help heal women, help heal circulatory systems. But also, being aware of the energy of Yarrow is about the flow of blood. I'm constantly thinking of that throughout. Ooh, just dropped a bit. Don't want to waste any. Now, once this tincture is made, and I've let it brew, then you could take about 20 drops, maybe up to three times a day for issues that are coming up. And you can take a bit less or a bit more, depending on what the condition is. Now, obviously you can see a herbalist about this if you're unsure how to use it, but I want to encourage that natural healer that's inside of you. I want to encourage that natural witch, if of a better word, inside of you. We all are herbalists. We have got a line of herbalists an ancestral line and we can all tap into that. Now all you need to do is learn how to recognise the plants. Now you can use plant ID apps or you can simply use books. Now the one way to recognise yarrow is her beautiful feathery leaves because this time of year there are some other flowers out there that can remind you of yarrow and I know some people have said I've got confused and when they've sent me photos or when I've looked at things it's maybe hogweed they're looking at. There's also angelica that's out there this time of year that you could get confused with. So it's worth making sure because you wouldn't really want to make a tincture out of hogweed, that's for sure. So all I'm simply doing here is I'm filling the jar full of yarrow. I'm simply just cutting it in, breaking it up a bit. Some people like to pulverise their herbs to make tinctures, but I, I'm not much into doing that. I like to be able to still recognise the plant. This bench is a bit wobbly here, so if I go, this will end up a funny video. So I'm simply putting the yarrow in. Now yarrow is a great one to grow in the garden. In fact, I bet you've got her in your lawn. People tend to spend a lot of time trying to get yarrow out of the lawn and once you've got her I think you've got her for life but she's really easy to grow you can grow her from seed in springtime and she'll grow really quickly and the other thing you can do is if you know you've got her in your lawn and you don't want her there you can wait till autumn time and you can move her you can dig her up and move her to maybe somewhere that you feel is a bit more suitable for you to have a relationship together so I really want to encourage you to get out there and recognise Yarrow. She can be a great one to know for first aid when you're out walking. And just for first aid, as I said, if you know she is outside your back door, if one of the children or yourself or someone in your family is around and they get a nosebleed, you can quickly run out and make a nose plug from her. And the great thing about her is she's usually around most of the year. Last year we had some harsh frosts here and she did hide for a couple of weeks but very quickly she was back up so you don't need her flowers. I always find it's best to make a tincture when she's flowering but you can use her leaves for tea and for nose plugs and for wounds without her flowering. Now the other amazing thing about Yarrow is she's known as the doctor of the garden. And one of the reasons that is, is because where she grows, she manages to activate defense mechanisms in the other plants around them. So they become stronger to attacks. But interestingly enough, she also, she also enables other plants around 
to actually accelerate their medicinal qualities. And you'll notice that their aroma, they smell, they fragrance, and if they plants that you taste, might have a stronger taste to them. Midnight the cat has just joined me, so if you hear me meowing, <laughs> that's where you might even jump up and say hello. So all I'm simply gonna do now is I'm gonna put that there and I am going to fill her up with alcohol. So I've, all I've simply done there is I've put the herb in. I've not crammed it too tight because you want to make sure there's enough room for the alcohol to get around. And I'm just simply going to put her alcohol right to the top of the herb. I can squish it down. And that's it. So the main thing is, is that the alcohol gets above the herb. I might need to put a bit more alcohol in there when I get back, back to the house. But you want to make sure the alcohol is above the herb. I've got, also got some extra yarrow here that I can add in. So the main thing is, is that you put the plant in and you put the alcohol and the alcohol cover, covers the herb. Otherwise you can get some oxidisation and that can turn, the, turn it brown. And also if there's any herbs poking above, then you might also get some oxidation and the plant going a bit mildew and that's not going to be good for your tincture so i would leave her sit now for about six to eight weeks and then you can start using yarrow your blood medicine now if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my youtube channel because it really helps get this wisdom out there to activate the herbalists within everyone around the world and if you want to connect more head on over to my website selenawalker.earth and you can sign up to my free newsletter where you'll get hints on tips on how you can create a healthy body, a healthy mind, and a healthy planet. Me and Midnight say bye, and we'll see you soon.